everyone. I'm really excited this morning to be making a gorgeous, absolutely fresh and beautiful dressing for you all. And it's a pineapple lemon garret dressing. And the wonderful part about this dressing is that we can use it not just on our salad greens and in our salads, but we can also put it over fresh fruit. So it has quite a diversity of uses and it's so fresh, so easy to make, and it's absolutely delicious. So I thought that you might enjoy having this as a recipe to try for yourselves in your own kitchen. And we're going to use this morning, we're going to use a cup of pineapple. And we're going to, this pineapple is fresh and I've blended it. We're going to use a teaspoon of agave. Now agave is a sweetener. We don't have to use agave, we can use honey or we could use maple syrup or we could use rice syrup if we wish or we could even put some sugar in it, I guess Rapajura or one of those sugars, cane sugar, um, coconut sugar would be really nice. So that's the sweetener and then we're going to use some a quarter of a cup of olive oil. We're going to use a tablespoon of lime juice. We're going to use a teaspoon of hot mustard and with that we're also going to use some powdered mustard. So we've just got a teaspoon of um, powdered mustard, actually it's a half a teaspoon of powdered mustard. And we have um, some garlic here, we have a teaspoon of garlic and I think that's it. We've got some salt, a teaspoon of salt. So those are our ingredients and we're, all we're going to do is to put them into my this magic bullet again and I find this little gadget so handy for making dressings because it just holds a nice amount and you'll find that this dressing will last in your refrigerator probably for four or five days so you can use it in a number of different ways. So it's very versatile and it's a very light dressing so it, it's beautiful for that reason. So we're going to put some, um, put the pineapple in here and that's been blended. I blended that before it goes into here because I think that it just helps the whole dressing come together very quickly and very easily. So we put in our lime juice, we put in our sweetener, we're going to put our mustard. Now the mustard is going to give it quite pungent. When we are making a dressing, it's really valuable to think to yourself, what sort of taste would I like to, to achieve in this dressing? Because there are a few things to consider. If we have a, this is powdered mustard, and we have garlic. If we want to have a sweet dressing, obviously we need to uh, increase the amount of uh, sweet compound, sweet that we've got. But the same as if it's sour or salty or pungent or bitter. And these are all things that, if we keep this in mind when we're making any dressing, we can come up with something that perhaps is very pungent and spicy by just increasing those particular components in the dressing. Or we can come up with something that's really sweet, so increasing our sweet content. Uh, we always like to have some fat or some oil in our dressing because the fat content is quite important. That sort of brings it all together. And the sweet, the sour, the salty, the pungent and the bitter. So we've got nearly a, a balance of those things in this particular recipe. And if you keep that in mind, you can play around with any dressings that you make and decide what particular flavour you'd like to be the... the, the uh, the most gorgeous colour and uh, I think it's just such an easy dressing. It takes a matter of moments to make and you have something really special. And I find in our particular kitchen here at home that uh, one day a week I'll often make a, a mixture of dressings. I make perhaps three or four different dressings and they can be used throughout the week in different ways on different uh, salads and uh, it just uh, every day you've got a different taste because your salad component is nice to mix up the greens that you're using it's nice to incorporate some different vegetables and different fruits uh, particularly 
the vegetable side if you're making a salad and, and if you're using this dressing you can actually uh, pop it onto some fresh fruit as well and it's just simply delicious. want it that spicy you wouldn't put quite so much mustard in it. I like it. I love it. But yeah. it's got a lovely balance of the pineapple with the mustard, hasn't it? Yeah, it's going to be one of my favourites. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. It's going to be good on camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's pretty yummy. It is, it is yummy. Yeah. It is very good. Might be a little bit.